Hello everyone, this is Dr. Imran Deshmukh from India and today we will be discussing how to perform hydroimplantation of IOL after cataract surgery. So I call this technique as the lazy surgeon's technique because it definitely reduces the surgical time. Uh, the time required to remove the excess visco in the anterior chamber and the visco behind the IUL. So the technique involves uh, using of the irrigation port of the bimanual IA or you can also use a disposable steel, steel cannula uh, attached to the irrigation port of the unimanual IA. So uh, what I personally use is using a disposable steel cannula attached to my irrigation port of the IA. So this is how it's done. Um, take the irrigation port through the side port. Uh, you can either insert it directly into the AC or partially outside and uh, uh, remove the excess of visco from the cartridge and now place the insert it uh, through the main wound and inject the PCIOL in the bag. Now you can use your T pusher or the Y pusher to push the IOL inside the bag. Yeah, that's really easy. You can easily rotate the IOL. It's constantly under continuous irrigation, so, the, so there's no fear of AC collapsing. See, it's so easy. It's it's it becomes really easy for a, uh, for a high volume surgeon. So here's one other case: a steel twenty four gauge cannula irrigation cannula from the side port, removing of excess of um, visco from the cartridge, injecting the IOL in the bag. See, that's smooth, and taking your T pusher or the Y pusher and slowly push the IOL in the bag. See, that's done. So there, there, are, there are some conditions in which you cannot use this technique. That's when you have a PC rent or when you have a runaway excess or when you're implanting a three-piece IOL. It's still difficult to place the three-piece IOL with this um, header implantation technique. The benefits, there are a lot of benefits. The first benefit definitely decreases the surgical time. There's no need of removing the excess of visco from the AC or behind the IOL. There are way less chances of capsule dissension syndrome and there are way less chances of raise of IOP post-op surgery. I hope, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.